Hi there, Heather Steves here, and today I'm going to show you a card that I made using the technique that's called Joseph's Coat. So I'm starting out with a white cardstock, and I'm using my Distressed Oxide inks to just spread some color around. So I'm using Peacock Feathers, Mowed Lawn, and Chip Sapphire. So I'm just using my uh, sponge dauber and I'm just spreading it around. I'm not too worried about um, things blending together um, because as you'll see at the end, a lot of it is actually going to be covered up. So I'll just let you watch as I add these colors and then I'll jump back on and explain the rest of the process. So now that my cardstock is all covered with the Distress Oxide inks, I'm going to take a stamp set uh, Birthday Joy uh, from Constant Campaign 61913. And I did set this aside and make sure that my oxide inks are completely dry. And then I'm stamping all of these little icons, just random stamping with Versamark. Once I get all the images stamped, I'm going to use the Clear Detail uh, embossing powder and I'm going to emboss them all. So now that my heat embossing is all complete, I let my cardstock cool off a little bit. And now I'm taking the Close to My Heart Black pigment ink and I'm rubbing it over everything. So I'm covering everything, I'm not too worried about um, what this looks like because it is a little bit streaky and blotchy, but um, just kind of getting everything covered over. And you can see I have to find somewhere to put my hand, so I'm just uh, using my scrap paper there. And now that I've got everything covered, I need to um, uncover uh, the embossed areas. So I just have a little paper towel here and I'm just wiping over top of that. Now, some of my ink was still wet, um, so it might've been better to wait a little bit for this, but I wasn't too sure. 
um, exactly how that would work. So it did take away some of the black on the um, base of the cardstock, um, but I was actually okay with that. It gives a very matte finish look, and you can see I'm just kind of touching that up a bit just to make sure, um, but it does give a very nice matte finish. So now I'm ready to start assembling my card. So I pre-cut um, my cardstock. I decided to use the White Daisy card base, um, but I've covered it with pear cardstock completely. And then I've taken another bit of Lagoon and I've added that for a second mat. And then I'm gonna place my um, Joseph's coat um, artwork on top of that. Now for my sentiment, I've decided to use stamp set Z3765, so happy together. So this is new in our September 2020 uh, idea book, and I just love the sentiments on this stamp. And of course, it comes with two coordinating uh, stitched thin cuts, which are wonderful. So I've just stamped it there in the black, and I'm going to take that one bracket and I'm going to cut it out. Now that my sentiment is all ready to go, I'm going to add some foam tape on the back and then my card is complete. Thanks for watching today. I hope you enjoyed my tutorial. I wanna say a special thank you to Lisa Stenz, a fellow Close to My Heart consultant, for the inspiration and tips on how to make this card today. And I hope that you will like and subscribe to my channel. Have a wonderful day.